Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. If you need a website, Squarespace has got a solution. You can do it yourself. You're like, I can't. I don't know how. I used to agree with you. I used to think, man, if you need a website, you got to go to someone who really knows how to do it. Really got to go to a, a real designer, a real website master. You don't have to do that anymore. With Squarespace, you can create a beautiful professional website all by your lonesome. And all you have to do is know how to do normal stuff on a computer, like uh, attach a photograph to an email, move files around on a desktop. Can you do that? Well, you can make a beautiful professional website with Squarespace. They have a simple, easy-to-use, drag-and-drop user interface, and it's the reason why JoeRogan.com is a Squarespace website. Each website comes with a free online store. It's super easy to set up that store and to sell things with their powerful e-commerce functionality. You can sell anything online. You never have to patch or upgrade anything ever. Free and secure hosting, 24-7 award-winning customer support, everything optimized for mobile right out of the motherfucking box. Come out! You can't go wrong. It's so easy to do. So if you're thinking about starting a small business or getting something going, maybe you got a restaurant you're promoting, maybe you're a part of a band or you're a comedian, you can promote, do it, advertise, whatever the fuck you need to do with Squarespace. And on top of that, you could try it out for free. Ooh. That's how confident Squarespace is. They'll let you fuck around with it before you even give them your credit card. Go to squarespace.com forward slash Joe for a free trial. Then when you're ready to launch, use the offer code Joe to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. We're also brought to you by the Cash App, baby. Do you know? The Cash App is the number one app in finance. And it's the easiest way for you to pay people back. You owe someone some money. It's a great way to pay back money to friends. But it does a lot more than that. A lot more. The Cash App is basically changing how people interact with their money. They add features that you can only get from a bank and a few more that you can't, like the Cash Card, Boosts, and Bitcoin. Mm, You can sell Bitcoin and buy it. The Cash Card is a free, customizable debit card that you could use at stores or ATMs, and it's linked directly to your Cash App balance as if it was a checking account. As if it was? Here I said that? As if it was? It even lets you direct deposit your paycheck right into the app. So if you're looking for an alternative to traditional banking, Millions of Americans have already started using the cash card and the cash card also has a rewards program called boosts With boosts you can get instant discounts every single time you swipe your cash card at coffee shops Chipotle Shake Shack and beyond you just tap a boost in the app and you pay with your cash card The cash app is also the most convenient and inexpensive way to buy sell and withdraw Bitcoin Ha ha It's the shit It's a fucking awesome application, folks, and it gets even better. When you download the Cash App for free in the App Store or the Google Play Market, use the reward code Joe Rogan, all one word, you'll receive $5, and the Cash App will send $5 to Justin Wren's Fight for the Forgotten Charity to build wells for the pygmies in the Congo. Can't go wrong. So why? Why fuck around? Download it for free. And don't forget to re- use the reward code Joe Rogan, all one word, to get your $5 and to send $5 to an amazing cause. The Cash App. The motherfucking Cash App. We're also brought to you by Blue Apron. Blue Apron delivers farm fresh ingredients and step by step recipes to your door. It's a fucking awesome service. What they do is they send you a cooler in that cooler is photograph step-by-step instructions with meals and all of the ingredients for those meals properly portioned and ready to rock. It's amazing. You can cook incredible meals in as little as 20 minutes. 
quick and easy recipe options with insanely delicious flavors. Everything perfectly portioned and delivered right to your door. Just fucking skip all that meal planning and all that shopping and get straight to cooking with Blue Apron. Blue Apron achieves this by supporting a more sustainable food system, setting the highest standards for ingredients, and building a community of home chefs. Their mission is to make incredible home cooking accessible to everyone, including you. And they have fucking delicious food. Like, how about this? Crispy chicken tenders and mashed potatoes, pasta, and creamy tomato sauce. Hoo-hoo. There's many, 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 many ones. Many cool different recipes. You can check out this week's menu and get your first three meals for free at blueapron.com slash Rogan. That's blueapron.com slash Rogan to get your first three meals for free. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. My guest today is Vinny Paz. Vinny Paz is an... um, Italian-American rapper from the dirty streets of Philly. And he is the front man of the hip-hop supergroup Army of Pharaohs and Jedi Mind Tricks. He's a cool motherfucker, and I really enjoyed talking to him. So please give it up for Vinny Paz. Joe Rogan Podcast, check it out. The Joe Rogan Experience. Train by day, Joe Rogan Podcast by night, all day. If they don't fuck up, I don't trust him. I... My father, my father used to say, if, if someone doesn't say the word fuck, or if their name is an initial, don't trust them. Yeah, that's a creepy one. Initials are creepy. Yeah. But you never know. It's like, it's not a hard, fast rule. No, I give everyone the fair shake, but I'm looking. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. If they frickin', if they're all the time, it's frickin' this and Or frickin'. Mickey Ficky. Yeah. I heard that one time. Oh, I never heard that one. Yeah, someone said Mickey Said a Fick- motherfucker. Yeah, I wasn't happy about it. Shut the front door is one like moms like to do around their yes. kids. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I come from a WAP South Philly family, so it's like a fucking Richard Pryor. <laughs> you know, uh, 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 it's the Seven Fishes on Christmas Eve is like a Richard is like uh, r- him on the Sunset Strip. You know who surprisingly doesn't swear? Teddy Atlas. I know Teddy does. I I I've seen you know animated here. I don't have to tell you. He gets just very animated. Show. Very yeah. animated, but yeah, he doesn't really. Yeah, it's like fricking this and fricking yeah. that and. Yeah. What the frick? He says, what the frick? It's nuts. Yeah. You know who also doesn't swear? Henry Rollins. Rollins does not. Does not swear. Yeah, but. And he it makes note of it. Note that I don't swear. It, I mean, I feel like that happened in the second half of his life mm-hmm. because the yeah. Black Flag records, <laughs> not so much. Yeah, I think he's trying to uh, get, mo- I don't want to say more people to listen to him, like trying to be more mainstream, but he's trying to eliminate the noise. Sure. In what he's doing. Sure. Yeah. He's a brilliant mind. He is. Yeah. Yeah. Unlike me. I mean, you're really, Rogan, you've hit a, you've hit a, uh, a little snag here. Teddy yeah. Atlas, Jordan Peterson, Shapiro, Henry Rollins, then this. No, dude. I, I love your music. <laughs> Thank the fuck you, out man. of here. <laughs> no, Vin. We were saying, you were saying, you know, about fuck-ups before the show. I was saying, I don't know anybody who's an artist who doesn't fuck things up. Like, if you if you're really create, There's something about being, like, legitimately creative. There has to be something wrong with well, you. Well, you're wired differently. Yeah. So what, what we perceive as, what, what people see, perceive as bi- fucking up isn't to us. Yeah. So, it, technically, it's a fuck up. But in reality, to us, it's just, um, just behavioral, it's just how it works, I it's think. It's just traits. Yeah, yeah like, sure. If you were working in an office in human resources, you would, you, the, you, there's no way. I'd be gone in like three hours. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I, before that, I'd probably put a bullet through my head if I was in a <laughs> cubicle. Just give up at that point. <sighs> Some people can do it, though. Some people, it's not a problem. No. I, I, they're just wired that way. From but I knew f- from such an early age that now I'm not wired this way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, me too. Yeah, I, I I was terrified of getting a job all when I was a child. Yeah, yeah it's fearful. But yeah, what you've done though, man, it's um, I've told you how much of a fan I am, but I'm such a fan of how punk rock. You've built all of this outside of um, what you were expected to do. This show is a fuck you, really. <laughs> It's just what it is, you know what I mean. This is the, this is what happens when you don't calculate. Yeah. Well, there's no cal- you just do what you want to do. Yeah. This is what happens. But people don't have the balls to do that. 
It's uh, it's a little bit balls. It's a little bit fear factor. Gave me a lot of financial freedom. Sure. That was.